Hello, welcome back. The last video in directive series is about structural directives. Structural directives are responsible for HTML layout. They shape or reshape the DOM structure, typically by adding, removing, and manipulating the host elements to which they are attached. This section introduces the most common built-in structural directives. NGIF conditionally creates or disposes of subviews from the template. NG4 repeat a node for each item in a list. NG switch a set of directives that switch among alternative views. You can add or remove an element by applying an ng if directive to a host element. When ng if is false, Angular removes an element and its descendants from the DOM. Angular then disposes of their components, which frees up memory and resources. To add or remove an element, bind ng if to a condition expression such as is active in this example. When the is active expression returns a true value, ng if adds the div to the DOM. When the expression is falsy, ng if removes the div from the DOM. That's simple, right? Now, Let's talk about ng4. You can use the ng4 directive to present a list of items. Let's create an array of objects with the name property in it. Define a block of HTML that determines how Angular renders a single item. To list your items, assign the shorthand let item of items to ng4. The string let item of items instructs Angular to do the following. Store each item in the items array in the local item looping variable. Make each item available to the template HTML for each iteration. Translate let item of items into ng template around the host element. Repeat the ng template for each item in the list. By the way, you can get the index of ng4 in a template input variable and use it in the template. In the ng4, add a semicolon and let i equals to index to the shorthand. The following example gets the index in a variable named i and displays it within the item name. And the last directive, which we are going to talk about, is switch. Like the JavaScript switch statement, ng-switch displays one element from among several possible elements, based on a switch condition. Angular puts only the selected element into the DOM. ng-switch is a set of three directives. ng-switch, an attribute directive that changes the behavior of its companion directives. ng-switch case. Structural directive that adds its element to the DOM when its bound value equals the switch value and removes its bound value when it doesn't equal the switch value. ng switch default, structural directive that adds its element to the DOM when there is no selected ng switch case. I'll modify the items array to be just a single item. On an element such as a div, Add ng switch bound to an expression that returns the switch value, such as a name. Though the name value in this example is a string, the switch value can be of any type. Bind to ng switch case and ng switch default on the elements for the cases. And now, depending on the value of the item name, rendering on the page changes. If you didn't provide a case for the name value, default will be executed. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new. These are the fundamentals of every Angular application and you will never build any serious app without it. Feel free to drop a suggestion for future videos or to comment on this one. Also, please subscribe so you don't miss a new video. Until the next time, stay well.